Greetings. I wanted to make a video about Gus Grissom. <clears throat> um, today, a lot of people, young people, uh, don't know who he was and uh, the problems that were happening at NASA. And um, there's a lot more to the story. You can search about uh, Gus Grissom and the Liberty Bell 7 that he was in where the capsule mysteriously uh, blew the hatch when uh, he was out in the ocean and very nearly drowned. And um, there's a lot to the story. Um, I'm sure NASA would love for it to just be swept under the rug. And so in that spirit, I am going to repost this old footage. Virgil Gus Grissom was selected as one of the original seven astronauts. A family man and a veteran of several space flights, he was a national hero and was likely to be the first man to walk on the moon. But Grissom was also an outspoken critic of the space program and was quoted as saying, someone's going to get killed. Unfortunately, Grissom's worst fears were soon realized. On January 27th, 1967, two years before the first moon landing, Grissom and his crew boarded the Apollo 1 capsule for a full-scale simulation. The problems began almost immediately. First, the capsule's communication systems failed. You copy? No, I didn't read your touch at all. I, I can't read your touch. You want to try the phone? Hey, how do I get the moon? We can't talk between three buildings. Suddenly, the capsule burst into flames with the astronauts sealed inside. Tragically, Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee lost their lives before ever leaving the launch pad. Gus Grissom's family believes the Apollo 1 fire was no accident. I think it was intentionally sabotaged by someone. It's been a question in my mind what was found in the accident investigation and how was that handled was the cia involved or you know whoever it, but it was done intentionally grissom's family doesn't know who was responsible for his death or why it happened but they say nasa knows the truth that's good he's alive for this program and i feel like that it is up to nasa to come forward and give us a direct answer to what really happened were Gus Grissom and the Apollo 1 astronauts victims of a tragic accident? Or were they intentionally silenced because they knew too much? We may never know. The cause of the fire is still a mystery, and the capsule remains locked away at a military base. But Grissom wasn't the only Apollo critic to meet with a suspicious and untimely death. Thomas Ronald Barron was a safety inspector during Apollo 1's construction. After the fire, Barron testified before Congress that the Apollo program was in such disarray that the United States would never make it to the moon. He claimed his opinions made him a target. Has there been any pressure on you by NASA? Uh, nothing. We were, uh, my wife and I were somewhat harassed at home when the first thing broke some time back. But uh, it's, it's going away now. As part of his testimony, Barron submitted a 500-page report detailing his findings. There was real fear that the program could be stopped dead in his tracks. Then exactly one week after he testified, Barron's car was struck by a train. Barron, his wife, and stepdaughter were killed instantly. I believe that Thomas Ronald Barron was murdered because he had the truth to tell about the Apollo project. Barron's report mysteriously disappeared, and to this day, it has never been found.